video. Today we'll learn how we can um, render API data that we received in the previous video. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out yet and then come back here. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see here in my console, we can see the API data that we're receiving, but there is no way to render it. So let's see how we can render it. In order to render, we'll be using React hooks. And what React hooks are basically, they are functions or classes, as you would say, that you can hook into in order to see the state of your data or change the state of the data without actually writing a new class so they are pretty useful so in order to use state or react hooks first we'll need to import that so at the top of your file you'll need to actually um you'll need to import them obviously so I believe the importing has been done and after that you'll need to before your fetch function you'll need to um, declare them um, declare variables which uses your states so we'll have items and this set items here we go and they'll be equal to your state and an array because we'll be receiving an our data as an array and then we'll need to convert our fetch function into an async function an asynchronous function so let's just do that real quick async function or we'll actually just write a new function i think that would be much more useful so I'll just write fetch items that's done now let's do this and I think it should be good yep there you go let's just get this fetch function down here Right, that's sorted and now I'll probably have to rewrite this as it won't be much useful to me so what I'll do is I'll declare a const variable first JSON which will be equal to await response dot JSON which we receive this shouldn't be capital response to JSON and I'll set items to JSON.data to JSON.data why is there an error? Did I do something wrong? Let me just check. Let's see. Let's see. No problem. Now our console dot log our data, which is set items. And then JSON. And let's see, I'll press save. We are receiving data, but let's change the URL. Rather than to do's, let's do posts and see if we receive anything. Response is not defined. Why is that? Let's hit refresh and see if we have an error or what which is working.
I think I kind of get it now, but... Okay. Okay, you know what? I get it. I know what the error is. Yes, sir, I got it. So, I mean, I knew we didn't define response, but what happened was, um, maybe I can define response here as and then this fact function can convert into an await function and that should essentially do it and what happens later is yes yeah, so i think that's been sorted let's see the console if we are receiving anything no not yet Let's see if this is closing. Okay, I get it. The reason it's not receiving anything because the return method has to be outside, and yep, that's basically it. it is. And I've already return all the code, so I'll just explain it to you guys. Firstly, what we'll need to do is we need to set items as just JSON, not JSON to data. Is a JSON variable already has all the response, so we don't need to go through the extra data bit. Then write a div, and inside the div, write items, which is a difference, which is the state, as you can see here. So we set our items as the JSON's response. So write items and items dot map. We're using map function to basically map through the data and render them and then in parentheses write item and error function and then in your paragraph tags or h1 tags you can essentially write um, uh, any tag that you want to and within them in curly braces you need to write the items to title i will refuse the title uh, I'll use titles of these objects, but if we go through, let's say, body, we can access that too. So I'll just write in body here, press command save, and this should render items.body. Let me just refresh it and see if it works. I mean, it most definitely should, but if it's giving us an error, we should maybe try to open it in a new tab and see how it goes. Well, nothing is happening in the tab, but that's essentially how you can uh, render your API data. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.